Now let's go ahead and look at aggregate demand increasing or shifting to the right. This could be caused by any part of autonomous spending to increase, unless it's by the price level because that's a movement along. So for example, what would happen if we saw, let's say the US dollar become weaker, holding all else constant and we're looking at the US economy. We see aggregate demand increasing. So this would shift aggregate demand to the right. Let's label this aggregate demand B, which will then be associated with point B with a higher price level and a higher output level. So this increase in aggregate demand is causing the price level to increase and output to increase as well, putting us in an expansion. Right? This is an expansion because we see that our current level of output is greater than our potential GDP. This is the important part, showing this output gap. How far are we away from potential GDP? We're in an expansionary period. We're in an expansionary period, which tells us that we are going to see a tight labor market. Remember, a tight labor market means that there's not a lot of people on the sidelines that are able to come and work at the current or lower uh, wage. So how would businesses be able to employ more people to take advantage of this expansionary period? Well, they're going to have to go and pay money. They're going to have to give raises. or They're going to have to go and find other people, pay them more money than they're currently making. This is going to end up having upward pressure on wages. So we see upward pressure on wages in an expansion because of the tight labor market. Upward pressure on wages is going to lead to increases in input costs, which again, if we're starting to expect higher wages, people will then start to expect higher prices. Uh, firms are going to have to accept the idea they need to start paying people more. All of this is going to lead to that short run aggregate supply curve shifting to the left or decreasing in our model. It's going to go back again towards long run aggregate supply. So we have our new short run aggregate supply, just like our last video, we'll call this point C. We have this right here as point C with higher prices and we move back to potential GDP. So what's really happened in the long run? Well, let's take a look. This causes our prices to go up, but we see GDP move back towards potential GDP. Everyone got raises, so that's a good thing. But because of this higher price, we had to move back here. We had to produce a little less, which means we laid some people off, perhaps. So we're back to that same level of potential GDP associated with that natural rate of unemployment. Everyone has a raise, which is great, but the prices have adjusted for it. So in the long run, prices have no impact in the overall level of real GDP.